So what is this travel bubble guys? Langkawi travel bubble. I'm one of the first today, 16th of September. What's it like to travel here during this COVID-19 pandemic? I'm here right now in KLIA 1 and I'm headed to Langkawi. So I'm here to share you my experience. Alright guys, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, like and also leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this travel bubble of Langkawi. What do you think? Do you think it will be a success or it's going to fail? Let us know below. Alright guys, I'm right now in KLA1. It's been a while since I last came to the airport, man. Right now, traveling has been really, really new, guys. It's a new, new norm. You need to be up to date with the news because apparently there's certain things that will be changed. Like previously, it was a lot. You were supposed to bring your police, your police clearance. I'm also not sure whether it's going to be jam-packed because this is the first day. Today is the first day of the tra travel that's allowed to Langkawi. So I'm finding my way to the test kit area. It's been a while since I came to the airport. Anyways, let me go look for this place, get my test done, so I can go and uh, hang out and uh, explore this airport, guys. I want to explore KLIA today. Hi. Hi. So what do I do? Uh, first, scan the QR code first. It's okay. not my suggestion. It's usual QR code. Oh, usual QR code. Yeah. Set up already the personal kit, right? I have. But usually, if we don't have what would guys do, you will give, give it for free? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So fill out the details, then? Yes. Okay guys, gonna do my test. So you don't really need to buy one guys. So don't worry about it, they'll provide it to you. Guys, playing around with it. Huh? Hello. Hello. Oh, can you show me your yeah, okay. Are you asleep? This one? Today's date is uh, 16. 16 of uh, 9, 20, 21. Your name? Your IC number or passport? Okay. That's it, right? Okay. 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 Thank you. Okay. The back needs to chop? Okay. Okay. So now I just go where today? Yeah. I can check in already. Alright, thank you. Okay guys, today is the first day of the travel bubble to Langkawi. I am one of those people who is going to experience this first day of the opening as Langkawi is the only place that we locals can travel right now to cross border. And then, uh, guys, can you hear that? That's the sound. It's the amazing sound, guys. There we go. Don't you guys miss that sound, guys? If you guys miss that sound, guys, please leave a comment below. It's the sound of music, guys. To all passengers, they are heading to Langkawi. Please get at the next stage area located at level 5 to process your travel documents. Thank you. So, guys, my flight is still around 12.15 in the afternoon. So, I came here around 6.30 in the morning. So I was very early because, you know, it's the first day today of the Langkawi trip. They just opened this travel bubble. So you don't know what the process like. So I came as early as possible. So if there's any problems encountered, at least I can fix it. I have lots of time to fix this problem. And so far, yeah, looking at the airport, it's not empty anymore. It's, it looks alive. As you can see, places look alive. 
so it's really good to be back in the airport guys so waiting for my flight now to check in is at nine o'clock in the morning so let's just see what what goes next i'll, I'll tell you guys what's the process like for the check-in okay Okay. Sini ya. Thank you. Yo, oh. passport. You go into your check-in counter down here. Then they will provide you with your boarding pass. This is the one. There will be a, a guy down there who will assist you. He will give you the. He will check your documents before you are allowed to go in there. He will see whether it's complete or not. So they will basically check your hotel bookings. They will also ask for your flight ticket and then the other relevant documents like the like your. RTK or your sliver antigen test that you did in the airport. Bring this all along, go to the counter, and then they give you your, account, your boarding pass. Alright guys, check in then. Let's go now to the departure area guys and wait for our flight. See ya. This is the vibe right now, guys. So quiet down here. Am I the first? For a domestic flight? For this time? For the 12 o'clock flight? So quiet. What flights do we have here? Oh, there's London Heathrow as well. Man, I miss international travel. Alright guys, I can officialize it. I'm the first. Head up. Nobody's here. My my gate is A2. I'm the first travel bubble for Langkawi guys. <laughs> check it out. So quiet. If you don't believe me, check it out man. Look at that. You can see my plane outside. Look at that man. It's been a while since I last saw an airplane. It's been months man. Man, I'm having fun right now in the airport alone. It's like a it's like a team park for me. They are so quiet. So exactly, what is this travel bubble that Malaysia is trying to do? And they, they selected Langkawi as the first location to do this test. So what Malaysia is trying to do right now is that they are trying to follow the footsteps of Thailand where they did this Phuket sandbox uh, travel bubble, if I'm not mistaken what it's called. That's why I remember from watching the news. So we're trying to give it a test and see whether this will work in Malaysia. And if this goes through, if everything goes well, then Malaysia will start to open other borders, like other famous travel destinations and maybe open it internationally. We've been under lockdown for quite some time already, it's been a very long lockdown, when almost three to four months. So anyways guys, let's have our fingers crossed to that, I hope this project works. Let's hope that Langkawi becomes one of the examples to the rest of the world that we will make it, so that we can start travelling internationally guys. So stay tuned, let's experience this travel bubble together. Mission accomplished, we're in the plane. Now, next stop, Langkawi. Guys, they made it as an SOP that you will need to wear this during the entire flight, except when you're eating and drinking. Just so you know. Dang, Malindu serves alcoholic beverages, guys. Check it out. We got ourselves some wine, some beer. My God, 10 bucks for beer. No thanks.